Uh, you, I've been joking around calling it Spider-Man Far From Perfect. <laughs> it's, it's really good. Yeah. Right. It's just, I have some issues, and mm. I think, I think it's because the high school stuff, even in mm. Far From Home, the high school stuff didn't quite hit me, like hit me right. All the costume stuff is good. And then the interactions between the kids with each other, I don't know, maybe I'm too demoled, but <laughs> to watch the high school stuff is, is kind of rough. Yeah. And, uh, and in my last recording, I actually made a mention of it. I think the big difference is, though well, the big parallel would be Cobra Kai. I love Cobra Kai. Mm. Um, I haven't finished the last season yet, but um, the high school stuff is still really good. And to see Marvel book on the Spider-Man stuff, the high school stuff, yeah, it's like, how come they're getting it right? And mm. you guys, you have all this intellectual property and all this time and all this mouse money. Make it work. Make yeah. it make it enough for everybody. Well, it's and and I think this is what the the ending of the movie kind of pushes us towards. I think they just went too big out of the gate, and there was so much happening in the first two movies and even in this movie that the Peter Parker stuff was like the weakest point because it was there because it had to be there, but he was living in like this, you know, he to go back to the Daredevil point, he wasn't a normal teenager. Like he had access to yeah. billions of dollars of technology and he had all these resources and lived in a great apartment in Brooklyn and or Queens and it, it just wasn't Peter Parker. Like it, it was Iron Man Jr. And I think yeah. even with the suits and all that stuff, when they throw in the high school part and now that everybody knows who he is, you're just like, I don't I don't see the challenge here, really. Like I think at that point, if people knew I was Spider-Man and I had access to all these resources, like n not to not to be 2022 about it, college is the last thing I care about. I really would yeah. be like, you know what? Apparently Mary Jane and my best friend are also geniuses. You know, we're going to go work for Stark Industries. Hook us up. Like I, I, that part, I, I was like, this is, this is just there. It doesn't serve any story purpose to me. Yeah, they definitely, the, the best part about the ending of No Way Home is he's alone in the apartment and he's, dead broke yeah and the whole point of him working at the bugle was how do i sustain myself i'm a poor kid from queens yes and i can't figure this out i gotta get out of my aunt's house i gotta pay for college what do i do i can scam the daily bugle and jay jonah jameson who doesn't like me and make this work and he was doing what he could with what he had yeah and the first three spider-man movies don't he, he's living in luxury He's yeah. living in uh, Hogan's loft. Yeah. You know, Stark was taking him around. Yeah. Uh, Stark's, you know, Stark gave him armor and, and suits and stuff. So he didn't really have to worry about any of that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and now it's, it's nice that they're getting back to that, that they're taking him back down. He's by himself in an apartment. He's got to make it work on his own. Uncle Tony's not around anymore. Mm -hmm. Because I, I mean, Spider-Man kind of proved to me that they're willing to make drastic changes to, to get the, the ship back on course, you know, and to that earlier point, Spider-Man was not, it wasn't Spider-Man, it was Iron Man Jr. And they found a way to reset it. Yeah. You know what I think they should have done with Spider-Man? There should have been, I hope it's a cut scene. And mm -hmm. if it's not in my head canon, it, it should have been when he's filing for the apartment mm -hmm. and he has to put his, you know, some real life stuff interjected and he's got to put his social security number down. They got to do a background check and, uh, and a credit check. Right. Yeah. He tries to put down Peter Parker and he realized, Oh wait, it's not going to come back to anything. So what he does is maybe he's flipping through stuff in his apartment or through his box. And he sees an old picture of aunt May and uncle Ben. They're together in like a park or something sitting on a, having a picnic. He flips it over and it says, uh, Ben Parker and May Riley, you know, 1990 mm -hmm. and he goes yeah. ben ben riley and he puts yeah. ben riley down on the form yeah whether they go with ben riley and they make him the scarlet spider or not that would have been a nice little nod if they would have went that way 
that would have been wonderful. Peter doesn't exist. That would have been wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. See, that's why that's why people like you got to write for this stuff, not not whoever they got over there. I wouldn't even send me the check. Send, yeah. send me the check first. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>